We've seen examples around the world, as you, as you said, um, and I think notably in the in the US with the sort of um, voice clone uh, robocall in the New Hampshire primary, uh, imitating President Biden, telling people to s skip the primary. You don't you don't need to vote or something like that. Yeah, yeah, skip the primary vote. Have you conducted any sort of assessment of, of how likely it is that this sort of technology um, would be used in an Australian election, uh, Give, with our current rules? Within our current laws. Uh, we are looking broadly at the issue of uh, AI-generated content. That includes video and audio content. I, I don't... My understanding, Senator, I might be wrong, is that the technology behind that is becoming more widely available. It's not particularly um, restricted. So I, I can't give you a prediction about whether it will be used. But let me make a, a different statement, which is we're seeing increased use of those sorts of tactics in elections around the world. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think we're going to be immune to that. Mm -hmm. So we could expect things like that to occur mm -hmm. uh, at the next election. What sort of urgency would you like to sort of um, voice when it comes to the need to have this dealt with before the next election? Like, are we are we leaving ourselves open to? not just the unknown, but all these things we've seen around the world from the US to uh, South Korea, which has been well, well publicised. Yeah, look, it's a rapidly developing area, Senator. And I think we've said, I know that there's work of this committee, I think the JSCAM committee on Thursday has an element of AI. I know that there are other committees that have looked at this. I think there's unlikely to be widespread legislation in place before the next election. And just for the record, I don't know when that election is, just for people listening. Um, and also, even if uh, the, the, the need for a national digital literacy campaign, I, I'm not sure whether that would be up. I don't know whether another department is working on that at the moment. Um, but there are certainly things we need to do quickly to look at this. Um, I, one of my concerns is, as I mentioned at the start, at election time, anything that's got election in it comes to the AEC. And people say, well, why, why isn't the AEC dealing with that? And quite often it's because our legislative toolkit is is very constrained mm. with what we can deal with and not deal with.